everyone and welcome to Name Hero. I'm Ryan, the founder and CEO. In today's video tutorial, I want to demonstrate how you can snapshot your cloud VPS using us here at Name Hero. So at the end of 2022, we released our brand new managed cloud VPS line of servers. Now these are fully managed VPS instances and they're built with the same technology that we use for our shared and our reseller cloud web hosting. These are very powerful for your business because you have full access to them and they're single tenant based, meaning that you're the only customer on them and which makes them perfect for high traffic websites as well as some of our other resellers out there that are too large for a reseller account. Now, we have a, our snapshot system and snapshots are very, very helpful in the event of a disaster or an emergency. So let's say you've created your site or you've created your VPS or with multiple sites on it and something happens. You know, God forbid that um, you know, something becomes compromised or maybe a setting gets changed and you can't access the VPS or you can't access the data. Well, using our snapshot system, you can quickly and easily recover from the previous snapshot with just um, a couple minutes downtime. Um, we spent a lot of investment into building this system out so it uses top of the line NVMEs to back up your data and it's completely off of the, the actual infrastructure that your VPS lives on. So you know, if the backup server goes down or if the instance that your VPS is on goes down, your backup is still available. It's still easily and readily available to deploy onto another instance. Now this is not a substitution for like nightly backups for your account. So if you have like 20 cPanel users, you know, you still want to back up those per user instances. And, you know, a lot of our customers will back this up over to Amazon S3 or they'll have just a, another um, SSH account or SSH Linux server that they're accessing to to back up individual files. But this is like a full VPS snapshot. So meaning that you can't just cherry pick the files. It recovers the entire system. And so it's very useful, you know, in the event of an emergency, in the event that you need to restore the entire server. Me personally, anytime I'm doing a systems upgrade here at Name Hero, I snapshot the entire system. So in case something goes very wrong, we can easily just recover from this without having to like go through and recover each account. It's very, very effective because we've got these NVMe drives in the backup snapshot system and we have like dual 10, 10 to 20 gig links on it. Um, so it's incredibly fast and we've spent, again, a lot of investment to make sure that our backup system is not only reliable and redundant, but it is quick and it, the backups happen very quickly and also so do the restores. So first off, I want to show you where this feature is um, and then I'll walk you through on how to use it and how to schedule these backups. So if I click at the top of the site here, Manage Cloud, you'll see these VPS instances right here. Now again, these are fully managed, meaning that you know if you don't know how to, if you've never managed your own Linux server before, you don't have to, you know, have a have a systems administration background to deploy these. Um, they're deployed very similar in the same fashion as our web hosting and reseller hosting accounts. They they come fully installed with cPanel and Web Host Manager, so you can just point click, add your customers or add your websites, and easily get on to to using your service. Um, so we have a two gig, four, six, and eight. And I don't want to get too much into the features behind each one, but it is important to highlight um, how much resources each one uses because that's important when we're going to talk about configuring these backups. So each one of these has an allotment of disk space, 30 gig NVMe, 60, 90, and 120. Um, they also have the differences in the RAM, two, two gigs of RAM, four, six, eight, as well as in the CPU cores. So our most popular is this six gig. So I'm just going to click order now. And again, I'm not going through the whole order process. I just want to show you where these backups are configured because it does not come by default. There's some customers that say, hey, I'm deploying a VPS for dev or testing purposes. I don't need backups on this instance. So instead of just putting it standard in the price, we allow it, um, you to choose whether you need these or not. Now, if you're using these for um, production, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you have these. Just an extra peace of mind. So if I scroll down here, you'll see right here, backup quota. So we have 100, 250 gigs, and 500 gigs. If you need more than 500 gigs, reach out, and we can help you get a custom backup plan for you. But it's really, you know, 100 gigs will get you started, and this is only on the space you're actually using. 
So on the six gig VPS, um, the storage space total on the entire VPS is 90 gigs. So 100 gigs is gonna allow you basically one backup of the full server. You know, you have about 10 gigs to spare on it. Now this only does the space you're using, so it's likely you're not using the full 90 gigs, right? So you're probably using maybe 20, maybe 50 gigs of the actual 90. So that's what counts against your backup quota, is what you're actually using. It doesn't take off like for the entire disk. Okay, and we also do these incrementally. So each night as a system snapshots, if you schedule it, then it's only going to push out the new or the change files to the backup server. So it doesn't have to like write a new backup from scratch every single time it runs. This is also very efficient. So I always recommend to most customers, you know, start with the 100 gig. You know, I understand budgets and all that. And then once you reach this uh, quota, you can easily upgrade right inside of our interface to the next slab. Now, if you know, well, Ryan, I'm using um, 80 gigs of my 6 gig VPS, then, and you know you want to have more than one night retention, you probably want to go to 250 or even the 500. It's up to you. And also, if you have like certain compliances within your organization, some companies, like especially if you're dealing with e-commerce, they might require that you keep a certain number of backups. So make sure to check on, you know, if any of those items are um, particular to your case. Okay, so this is where they're selected. And once you sign up and spin up your VPS, then you have instant access to these inside of, our, of your user interface. So I'm gonna go log into my demo account. If you're following along and you wanna set up backups right now on your VPS, um, feel free to do so. So I just wanna go back to the main site. I just wanna sign in here. I'm gonna demo name hero.com. And then we're gonna paste your password. All right, now this is my demo account, so I've got several services in here, but I'm gonna go to my cloud and this one right here, my two gig VPS is the one we're gonna test with today. And you'll see, I don't have any disk or bandwidth usage. This is just a demo. Um, however, I have backups. So you'll see these right here. Under additional tools, you'll see backups and backup jobs, as well as our graphs and our task history. And you also see the backups here. Now, if you have not purchased backups, then these options will not be available to you. You know, you'll be able to click into them and it's gonna be a gray icon. So you have to make sure that you've actually purchased the backups on your VPS in order to have access. Again, we do that as a courtesy because some people, they don't wanna have backups because they're not using it for production. All right, so two options. First, backups. All right, this is gonna show you the actual backups that have been taken of the VPS. Um, so this is not just a scheduler, this is the actual backups that are available to you. You can see I don't have any. So if I want to create a backup, all I have to do is click New Backup, and I'll get this pop-up window. How do I want to compress it? If you don't know, we only have one option on here, but some of the other VPSs, you know, we might be expanding on our compression ratio, um, but just pretty much you want to leave this default, even though this is my only choice right now. And we do want to snapshot it. Snapshotting temporarily freezes the file system, and so that way nothing stops. You know, your 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 website continues to operate; nothing goes down. Um, so you want to you want to continue to choose a snapshot uh, mode by default. You can suspend and stop the VPS, but that's going to interrupt your live traffic. Uh, we built our system specifically so you can easily snapshot your system. All I do is confirm. All right. And so now this is actually running a snapshot in real time. So you can see um, it's running right now, operate, the backup creation's in process, progress. And so it's gonna take about five, 10 minutes for it to completely complete. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna sit around and wait for it on this video, so I think you get the idea of how to go about doing it. But this is a good feature if you're getting ready to go do that upgrade. You know, maybe, I know for me, when I'm working on Name Hero's main website with our dev team, if we get ready to push out a big change, a big update, you know, I make sure that I snapshot the entire system first before we do it. And so this is how you go in and manually do it. Um, right here is the restore button. And so, you know, if a disaster would strike or you needed to restore your VPS to the last backup, that's where you do it. Now, big warning here, if you click this, you can see we give you a pop-up. Are you sure you wanna do this? Because it is gonna overwrite all the existing data on your VPS and you are gonna have downtime while it restores. So it's gonna actually stop the instance and then it's gonna pull the image off the backup server and restore it. 
So make sure, you know, if you go to restore, you know that anything that was any data on that server that was written after that backup is not going to be there. So please restore with caution. If you ever have any questions, make sure to ask our support team. You can hit us up via uh, support ticket or on live chat. We'd be more than happy to help you. Um, I hate to see people when they accidentally overwrite data. So again, just make sure before you go to do a restore that you realize that there's no going back from it. You also have the delete option. So, you know, if you want to delete out some old backups, you can do that here and it's just going to delete the backup that we just took. Okay, so that's all there is to manually taking a backup as well as seeing where your current backups are. The second piece of this is talking about our backup jobs. So it's likely you don't want to go in every day and have to schedule or manually click a backup. That kind of defeats the purpose of automation, right? So we allow you to schedule an actual backup job nightly or daily, whatever works for your specific case. So you can see we allow for seven days retention. Now this retention rate works off of how much backup space that you've purchased. Remember in the beginning of this video, I was talking about our different levels, our quotas. You know, you have 100 gig as the standard, and then we kind of go on up from there, 250 into 500 gigs. It's only based on what you actually used, and these backups are incremental. And again, that means that only the change data is pushed to the next backup, and it makes it really fast, and it also is very efficient that you're not paying for space you're not actually using. We don't make you, um, just because your server can hold 80 gigs of data, doesn't mean you're going to have to buy backup space until you're actually using all that 80 gigs. Okay, so first off is just the time. Um, so back to that real quick. Seven days is a total retention you can have, but again, it's until your quota is reached. So it's either seven days or if the quota is reached before then. So, you know, if you're using 50 gigs and, you know, that's only going to last about two or three days incrementally, and so then the seven-day retention isn't applicable to you. But if you're using 10 gigs on, on your server and it backs up, that's going to allow you to easily fit seven days worth of backups um, right inside of here. And I hope that makes sense. I'll try to clarify that some text, too, so it's written out. Start time. So this is just a timestamp of when you actually want to start it. We operate based on UTC time here at Name Hero. That way you don't have to worry about different time zones or whatnot, and you can ensure that um, you know, things get uh, created during the time that um, you want things actually run. So you can Google, you know, what time is my time zone UTC, and it'll tell you. Now remember, it's 24-hour time, so it's, um, you're going to put 1,300 if you want to do like 1 p.m. Um, zero, 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 this is midnight. And again, this is UTC time, so midnight happens um, depending on where your region is, it's a little bit different. So, um, But I think midnight's a good time, UTC time, just to have it done. Since it's snapshotting, there's no downtime, there's, no, there's not going to be any interruption in service. I like to do it when I know I'm not making any changes, so that's why um, you know, midnight's a good time, uh, because I know we're not actually pushing out changes or anything like that around you know, that time of night. Okay, so now day of the week, you might want to do, you know, just Monday. I like to do every day of the week that, um, you know, as long as my space and retention is available. So I just did every single day, Monday through Sunday. Um, again, there's that compression. We might add some other compressions later, but uh, we'll always have the best um, as default. Again, we want to snapshot it so there's no interruption in our traffic to our VPS. And then if I want to have an email sent when this is done, I can click that, and it's going to send it to my email address on file. And I confirm. Okay, so now automatically each night, again, UTC time at midnight, my VPS is going to snapshot. and It's going to send me an email notification to let me know it's done. And if I ever want to go and make changes, I can always come back in here, click the pencil, and do so. Or if I want to delete the job, I can do that as well. All right, so that's pretty much all there is to it. Now, if I go back to my information page, you know, you can see nothing's really changed here. But now I've got that backup job scheduled. It's completely, it's off-site from where my VPS is hosted, meaning that it's on a completely different device, different storage. So, you know, in the event something would happen, that your VPS is destroyed. Again, we hope that never happens, but if something would happen, you can easily go into backups, and you'll be able to see the backups available, and you can easily restore so you can see this one's finally finished. The size of this backup for mine is 30 gigs. That's what I'm currently using on my um, demo VPS here. So you can see I've used 30 gigs of my 100 gig allotment. 
and I'm using one daily backup file. I can, I'm allowed to have six more or you know, seven day retention as long as, as I don't reach my 100 gigs here. Now again, since these are incremental, um, once my next backup runs, it's not gonna be quite 30 gig because it's only gonna be those change files on top of it. So I hope that, again, I hope that makes sense. Um, but if you need more backup space, feel free to reach out to us. We'd be more than happy to you know, help you make sure you're on the appropriate backup plan for your VPS. So I think they're all the, that is all there is to it. Um, you know, it just works from here on out. There's nothing else that has to be configured. You know, you can make sure that if you log in in a couple more days and maybe I'll, I'll refilm again after a couple days to show you what it looks like once I have some more backups in here. But that's how it's done. You know, super simple. There's no technical knowledge. You don't have to go install anything on the server. And my backups are available right here to restore. Important things are, you know, remember that you're, you have a, whatever the quota you purchase, that's the amount of space you can actually use. Um, it allows for a maximum of seven day retention. And these are full server, full, full VPS backups. You can't cherry pick files out. You know, if you need to restore just like one image or one email, you can't do that with these. These are like for the entire VPS. And so these aren't a substitution for individual account backups but they are you know, that complete VPS backup. So in case something happens, you can easily get back online without prolonged downtime. That's the big thing here. We don't want you to have downtime, had a disaster strike, so you can easily restore from those. So I hope this video helped explain our backups and how you set these up. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know. If this video helped you out. You know, I certainly do appreciate all the thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button so you can uh, be made of, you can be made aware when I have the next um, video out. I'm gonna do a lot with our new managed cloud here. I want to really explain the technology behind these. You know, we use proprietary technologies here at Name Hero. Uh, I personally racked and built a lot of these specific um, infrastructures that these are on, including that snapshot system. So it's really important to me. And so I also welcome your feedback. You know, if you're using one of our managed cloud VPSs right now, feel free to reach out. You know, Ryan at namehero.com. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. And, you know, I, I'd be more than welcome to, you know, review that with you and also make any changes, you know, implement uh, based on feedback. So that's all I have for this video tutorial. Thanks so much for watching and using us here at namehero.com.